Ladies and gentlemen, on reply to his new father-in-law speech, ladies and gentlemen, will you please put your hands together to the tall and very handsome group. Sorry for those, those kind words. I knew your speech would be hard to follow, and I was right, I could hardly follow a word of it. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, and Keith. <laughs> On behalf of my wife and I. I'd like to thank everyone for coming and sharing in a special day. It really wouldn't be the same without you all. It would be a lot cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you're all enjoying your day so far. Thank you also for your wonderful gifts. We've been blown away by your generosity. There's going to be a number of toasts in this speech, so please make sure that your glasses are full. My aim is to get you so drunk that you can't remember anything that Keith says in this speech. <laughs> <laughs> my only regret is that my mum isn't here today. She loves Stacey and I'm sure that she's smiling down on us. She was the friendly and most generous person that you could meet and it's a huge loss to today that she's not here. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you'll all want to stand and join me in a toast to my mum, Jo. Now, this wonderful reception is the result of the time that I got down on one knee, and then both knees, <laughs> and I popped a big question. Tony, can you pay for this wedding? <laughs> Tony, you've done something truly special today, something that I didn't think would be possible. It's a Friday afternoon and you're not on the golf course. <laughs> Seriously though, I can't thank you both enough for the warmth and generosity you've shown me over the last few years. I'm yet to visit your house without drinking at least five beers. <laughs> Mary knows how to host. <laughs> and you've replicated that hospitality for everyone here today. Thank you also for raising a beautiful, talented and intelligent daughter and for giving her away willingly. Maybe a bit too willing. <laughs> <laughs> I really couldn't have asked for better in-laws. And you can trust me when I say that I'll always love and protect your wonderful daughter. such an incredible no. <laughs> always been there when I've needed you and I'm proud to have you as my dad. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I'd ever get married. At one point I actually resorted to putting an ad in the local classifieds. <laughs> it, it just said, wife wanted. <laughs> to my surprise, I actually got a hundred replies back in the first week, and they all said the same thing. You can have mine. <laughs> but that's not how we met. We were, we were introduced at 30-something, 30-something, and navigated by Stacey's best friend and bridesmaid Kerry. <laughs> Stacey was the 
that ace girl on the dance floor. I can still see her now, lying there on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> We were chatting at the bar and we immediately had it off. A few dates followed and we realised that we had lots in common. And then it can only have been a few weeks in that Stacey informed me that she was looking to get married and have kids. <laughs> you did? <laughs> so that's putting your cards on the table. So <laughs> Fortunately, it didn't take long for me to realise that she was the one for me. I can remember the day, it was a Friday. And I, I said to Stacey, what's your plans for Saturday? And she says, I'm just going to watch Soccer Saturday and put a coupon on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> As we met in Bathgate and we love a night out in Bathgate, we thought the table names were quite appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> um, although we also love gambling, so it was a close call. This table was originally called Paddy Power. <laughs> <laughs> now, believe it or not, one of us in, in this rela relationship can be quite arrogant, stubborn, and a bit of a know-it-all, from how football should be played to how the grass should be cut. But thank luckily for me, Stacey has been patient, open, and most importantly, willing to learn. <laughs> for all your efforts in coordinating our big day. Your creativity, attention to detail and preparation has been outstanding and you should take most of the credit for what's been an incredible day. <laughs> Stacey's been planning this day for a long time. I think she had most aspects decided before I had even got down on one knee. <laughs> when I did propose, she hesitated slightly before saying yes. I was worried that she was unsure, but it turned out, turned out she was already counting how many vegetarians would be at the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> I've also had a big say in today. Stacey listened to hundreds of my suggestions before dismissing them outright. <laughs> and you might not be aware that we almost had a disaster a couple of weeks ago when a credit card was stolen, but I decided not to cancel it as a criminal was actually spending less than Stacey. <laughs> Stunning she looks today. <laughs> Nothing could have prepared me for what I saw when you walked down that aisle. Thank you for marrying me and making me the proudest man in the world. Aww. I can't put any words how happy I am to call you my wife. I've had the best four years of my wife life with you and I'm looking forward to spending the rest of my days by your side. I love you. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and raise your glasses to my wife. Now for a few more thank yous. I'd like to thank Scott, our Piper, for a brilliant job done. I'm very fortunate. Yeah. Yeah. Very fortunate to have such a talented friend. Thank you, Scott. A huge thank you also to Sandra for our flowers. You really have done a wonderful job. And we appreciate it. Thank you to our ushers, Mark and Stuart. That's the best usher I've seen in a long time. <laughs> and also a big thank you to our gorgeous flower girls, Abby and Eve. Well done, girls. I'd 
also like to thank Inshira for putting on this wonderful reception. We will be forever in your debt. <laughs> <laughs> I'd also like to wish our friends Dan and Claire a happy fifth wedding anniversary today. Yay! Yay! On us, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so before I hand over to Keith, I'd like to mention two stunning girls, Kerry and Claire. You both look gorgeous. Oh, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> and I know how much it means to Stacey to have you supporting her today. Stacey really wanted me to thank you for the hours of hard work you put into arranging our ends. All five of them are just <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, please raise your glasses and join me in a toast to the bridesmaids. <laughs> so what can I tell you about Keith? <laughs> he loves to party. I mean, he hates going home. <laughs> I think that he's got you that he's not sitting at the Westie right now having a fight. Get a Westie, sir. Not many people know this, but Keith's nickname is actually The Exorcist. As every time he visits someone's house, he rids it of all spirits. <laughs> You've not had much to do so far today, Keith, other than stand about looking good. Obviously, you've let me down on that. <laughs> so I'm hoping that you'll redeem yourself with your speech. <laughs> Thank you, though, for arranging two unbelievable stag do's in Vegas and the Muscle Races. I had a fantastic time, as did the rest of the guys. We'll be talking about Vegas for years to come. <laughs> Sorry, Rick. <I'm> all... <laughs> you've really made a huge contribution, Keith, to my gambling habit in Liverpool. <laughs> Keith and I have known each other since secondary school and we've shared a flat a couple of times over the last 10 years. That resulted in a, uh, resulted in a lot of nights out at the Ballet, the James Young, the Robardi, the Twig, the Westport. We've, he's always there for you when you need someone, provided all you need is a drinking buddy. <laughs> Unfortunately, the years of alcohol abuse have really taken a toll on Keith. And it's had a big impact on his memory. <laughs> He's often recalling embarrassing stories about other people when the stories are actually about him. <laughs> so bear that in mind as I pass you over to my best man. <laughs> my best man. 